My name is Nicholas Chittenden and I'm an airline pilot. I started flying when I was a teenager. I was an apprentice engineer at the time, but I'd always been keen on aeroplanes and I'd had my first flight at the age of four. I started flying in 1988 when I was 19. I was an apprentice engineer then, but I soon got the bug and it's never gone away. I bought my first aeroplane when I was 21. It was an Aronka Champ. It was in a thousand pieces and scattered around various garages in South London and Basingstoke. We took it home on a trailer and on the top of my Talbot Horizon when I spent a couple of years putting it together. In 1993 I joined Air Atlantique as a cadet pilot. I suppose that was my favourite job, in a lot of ways because it was my first, and also because I was young and probably quite foolish and had a great time doing all manner of silly things in aeroplanes that I probably wouldn't do now because I'm meant to be old and sensible. I've enjoyed all my flying jobs, but they've all been very different. The aeroplane was built in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1936. It was one of 16 that came over brand new and was sold at Hanworth near London. Mine went down to Lim to the flying school and it was there just until the outbreak of the Second World War. It had a bit of an unfortunate accident in August of 1936. It probably ran out of fuel, it was just off of Folkestone, but whatever happened it ended up in the sea. The pilot was unhurt and the aeroplane was pulled up on the beach. I've got a photograph from the time from the Daily Mail of it being pulled up on the beach with a fairly lurid description. It stayed at Lim until the outbreak of the Second World War. It was then stored for the duration, but I'm not quite sure where. It was either Leon Solent or on the Isle of Wight at Cowes. Later in the 1950s it had a, an accident. It stalled and span into a tree in Hornchurch in Essex. Astonishingly, in an accident that should have killed the occupants, neither was injured. The tree came off worse. After that, it was bought by a gentleman. He was a very clever Royal Navy engineer and pilot, and he rebuilt it. And it's largely in the condition that he rebuilt, albeit that it's had a new fabric covering in the 1980s. I first saw FT, the Aronka, in 1986. The BBC made a short film of a book called Flying for Fun by Major Jack Parham. The book wasn't published until after he died, but about 10 years later the TV film version was made. This wonderful little aeroplane was the star, and I thought it was a great machine at the time. It looked like everything I wanted in an aeroplane. It was fun, simple, made a fabulous sound. 10 years later I bought it and I've owned it ever since. I like the solitude. That's why I don't like the radio particularly. I like taking off and from that moment everything that goes on is up to me and dealing with everything is up to me. I don't want to hear from anyone else, not because I don't like them, but I just like flying, particularly on my own, in silence. <laughs> 